What's going on, world? It's time to talk about another Stephen King adapted book into a film. Um, today, we're going to be talking about Secret Window. And it stars Johnny Depp. Before his Pirates of the Caribbean Disney stuff. So, it's back when he was more of a serious actor. Now, I might spoil some of this, by the way. But, it's been out for a while, so I'm pretty sure most people don't care. Um, so, yeah, it was... Released by Columbia Pictures, March 12th, 2004. That's a while ago now. Um, I remember when I saw this, I was really disappointed in this film when I first saw it. But I was only like 12 or 13 at the time. <laughs> and I thought it was a horror film because that's how it looked like in the trailers. But yeah, so. Yeah, but now I think this movie is underrated. Just like the other one. <laughs> Some of the other ones that I've reviewed. So. Um, yeah, it was released. It was directed by David Cope, who is also known for doing Panic Room, uh, Deadly, Pus Deadly Disposition, uh, and he was a producer for Jurassic Park films and the Indiana Jones films. So this guy has a big back catalog, and he does some pretty interesting, suspenseful movies. So this film is pretty sus suspenseful, and... Uh, yeah, so basically the basic plot of Secret Window is this, this writer catches his wife cheating on him. And then he goes off to his cottage cabin to start writing a book while he's going through the divorce. And then he meets another writer who claims that he's copywriting uh, one of his stories. So it's all about him trying to figure out who this writer is and why he's doing it. And this other writer character is... Uh, causing all these bad harms he's killed his dog he's done uh, he's burned his ex-wife's house down and he's doing killed like the cop investigating people driving him around just causing terror so johnny depp's character is to look into this and figure out what it is and as he goes on he slowly finds out that the um the other writer is just imaginary the figment of his imagination basically and then he goes he's the one who's been doing all the harm and that so overall though this film was really well acted well written yeah david cope wrote and directed it so it's pretty well structured i think it's highly underrated um it's well shot the cinematography is great the score is pretty good and yeah overall i think this film's underrated i had a really good time watching this movie um, yeah, but it's just like a Stephen King film. There's some parts where he's, like, imagining stuff, and he has to figure out if it's not imaginary. Some of there's pretty cool visuals in it. Uh, it is, uh, more tame. It's a psychological thriller, so there is some slow scenes in it. The, some of the ending takes a little bit to pick up, and, uh, there's some dull moments in there, but it is a good ride. Johnny Depp does a great job in this, better than, like, the Pirates of the Caribbean films so overall i think this is a was a really well done film and i think a lot of people should check it out again um so there's nothing too much to complain about this film um the setting's great i'm pretty sure they filmed most of it in canada like here in ontario or something so yeah i think everyone should check it out i'm gonna rate this four out of five just because it just needed a little more substance to it to make it a full on great film but there's nothing pretty much to complain about so for if you haven't seen this i'll link the trailer down below so you can check it out make sure you watch it it's sick it's awesome a must see pretty much so yeah also down below is my instagram is always link i always link it down below because i always post clips of movies i'm watching all my stories on that and yeah, so you can guess what ones I'm watching. So make sure you follow me there. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you like hearing my opinions on movies. And who knows. I might talk about something you never heard of. And you should check out. Um, make sure you like that button. Hit that like button if you like this review. And uh, comment down below if you've seen it. Let me know what you thought. And uh, comment future other Stephen King films that you want want to hear my opinions on in the future um definitely don't sleep on this one give it a re watch if you thought it was bad the first time like i did i was pleasantly surprised now that i watched it again so make sure you watch that and 
watch out for those killer writers.